Yo, what's going on guys, it's Six Strikes Gaming, and I know it's been a while, it's been three weeks, yep, three weeks, since I uploaded a video. Anyways, um, I want to, you know, go through an update with uh, live streaming with an HTTP VR, because that's what I use, but I'll be upgrading soon, but, you know, it's just, I, I don't know, like, just see how I had that, um, how to live stream with HTTP VR, no screen capture. It's still the same thing, but, you know, it's a lot easier. So what you're going to want to do first is, uh, Links will be in description. Uh, go to Google uh, and type in uh, HTTP VR. Um, actually, type in HTTP VR support. Okay, once you type in HTTP VR support, you're going to go to Hapog. Uh, and then it should say support for HTTP VR. Um, and what you're going to want to do is you see right here Windows driver for HTTP VR. You're going to download it. You're going to install it to your computer. Um, if you I'm not going to tell you, show you how to install it on your computer because you should know. Anyways, once you have that downloaded, you also want XSplit, so you go to XSplit.com. Um, make an account because you're going to use it. You're going to need it as soon as you sign in to, or you know, once it downloads, you're going to need a, an account to be signed in while you use the program. So it says 1.1 is here, so you're just going to go to download XSplit now, um, and then you know just do the 1.1 final version, which I have. Um, anyways, once you have that all good up, here, good up, once you have that all settled, um, to live stream, you can't have, um, what's it called, you can't have Total Media Extreme open while you think, or while you stream, because it doesn't, I don't know, it's, that's how pretty much every software is, you can't be open into programs, but we wish it is, but you just can't do that. Anyways, once you get XSplit downloaded, um, you're going to open up XSplit, I'm going to be signed in, so here, let's just keep this off. Actually, it should be good because I could delete it. Um, okay, so what you're going to do, you see this main screen? Um, you're going to want to go to Add Camera Hophog HTTP VR Capture Device. Once you add that, it's going to say no signal from device detected, but you got to let it load. And there it is. Drag it all the way across so it's open. Now, if, okay, I have a good internet. I have like 22 ping, you know, 35 up six down or thirty down six up and uh... you know i can't stream seven twenty so uh... the best if you're like me but if you have that super pc you know go to seven twenty so what you want to do is go to resolution um, you know go to edit resolutions and me i use three twenty times ten eight or one eighty hgtv video sixteen point nine now when you record or when you stream you could only use the uh... 16 to 9 ratio so you know you gotta find them <clears throat> excuse me um let's see i'll just find one see 512 but that's that's weird um this 720 doesn't work i'm getting rid of it this one does work but it's really small so i'm getting rid of it i'm getting rid of this one but here let's go see right here here we go 720 hgtv i can't use it anyways i use i use Again, I use a 640x360, 16 to 9 ratio. Um, to set up your channel, you just go to uh, Edit Channels, you go to Broadcast, it's a drop down, you go to Edit Channels, you go to Add. Um, uh, let's say you're Justin or your Twitch, and then you uh, enter your username or password. It should all come up. Um, you just gotta give it time, sometimes it doesn't work right away anyways once you have your channel popped up if you're like me um, you, your location is default um, export default quality is minus 10 your resolution default stage resolution once you choose to up here I put my uh, max bit rate at 1750 just because of my thing now if yours is different you could go higher if you're gonna stream at a higher bit rate it's better to go higher but can your computer and your connection handle it I don't know I can't tell you but I could but I need to know your stuff Format, keep it at 16 bit mono, bit rate 9800, um, interleave audio and video, and one RT, RTMP channel. Okay, so once you have this set up, you should be good to, you should be good to stream. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, it should be picking up your gameplay from this. It should be picking up your uh, music. You know, it should be picking up all that jazz. Um, so pretty much it just records everything it hears on your computer, which does get annoying when you're playing music, the stream hears it. But anyways, um, you know, I'm just going to show you guys 
you just you just click on this and you drag down. You just click on your channel and it'll say streaming. Um, and just coding the bit rates up. Let's go see if my channel. Where's my channel? And then it says I'm offline and then I'm live. Um, it should pop up in a little bit. There it is. And that's my. Let's see if you guys could see that. See, there's no lag unless you're doing something wrong. Um, you can add titles and stuff. You know, I'll make a, I'll make another video after this. Um, how to do that little all that stuff. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope this is easy for you guys. I hope you can start streaming now. And uh, like again, or like I said, I'll leave the links in the description. Um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this or hope it helped. Um, please leave a like if it did, and subscribe. Uh, peace.